Three methods to make acids. Well, the three methods that we know work all the time. We can make it by oxidation, either of an aldehyde or a primary alcohol. We can get there by a nitrile, by hydrolyzing an acidic condition, that nitrile. Or we can make a Grignard reagent and react it up with CO2. So let's make propanoic acid. There's propanoic acid, one, two, three carbons with the acid group. Try and via oxidation, well, let's make it from the primary alcohol, which would be propanol, propanol, which we stew up with our acidified chromium-6. So potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid, potassium chromate and sulfuric acid would do the job quite nicely. Now let's by a nitrile or Grignard reagent, the starting material is going to be an alkyl halide, a halogenoalkane, and I'm going to pick here ethyl chloride or chloroethane to do this. First thing I can do is I can bring in an extra carbon by reacting this up with cyanide. So now I've got a one, two, three carbon compound with this nitrile here. And once I've got that nitrile group, I can acid hydro hydrolyze it with heat h2nh plus with heat to turn the cyanide group the nitrile group into the acid group the other thing i can do with an alkyl halide or a halogenoalkane is i can react it with magnesium under anhydrous conditions to make this grignard reagent and you take a grignard reagent react it up with co2 and then add dilute acid to it you add in the extra carbon from the co2 so you make ch3 ch2 coo minus which you then protonate with the dilute acid to give you your final acid so oxidation of a primary alcohol or taking a one carbon less halogenoalkane which you can either react with a cyanide to make the nitrile and hydrolyze it or you can react with magnesium to make the Grignard reagent and bring in the extra carbon with CO2. So for nitrobenzoic acid right there where you see an acid group so we can get to an acid group by oxidation of the appropriate primary alcohol so there we are we'll just take this um, nitrated benzyl alcohol and oxidize it to the acid group using our acidified chromium 6. I'm not going to do a nitrile but I am going to show you that we can make a really nice aromatic Grignard reagent normally of course a bromine attached to a bromide attached to a benzene ring doesn't behave like an alkyl bromide but it does make nice Grignard reagents so react it up with magnesium under anhydrous conditions and we make this Grignard reagent here which we will then react up with CO2 to provide the extra carbon and dilute acid now there's another oxidation that we can do um, any time that we want to make a benzoic acid because this benzoic acid acid group can be obtained by just oxidizing an alkyl group as long as that alkyl, as long as that carbon there has at least one hydrogen. So we can start off with this, just uh, essentially four nitrotoluene. We got a methyl group up there, oxidize that using our acidified dichromate and we can turn that alkyl group into the carboxylic acid group. Last one, just for fun, cyclopentane carboxylic acid, more than anything else, just to emphasize the strange naming system for the acids associated with cycloalkanes. So there we are, cyclopentane carboxylic acid. Um, we can go via the alkyl halide, of course, I'll switch it up a little bit. We can go via the nitrile, so turn the chloride into a cyanide group, which we then hydrolyze to turn the cyanide into the acid. Or, of course, make the Grignard reagent, as we've now seen twice before, react that up with CO2 in the acid. And the last one, let's just do an old oxidation of a primary alcohol to make the appropriate acid. So there's CH2OH with the acidified chromium-6.